That was a very uh, abrupt <laughs> of, oh yeah, that's not open yet. Wow, okay. Okay. Let's get uh, beyond a window capture. Let's get the window captured. There we are. Come on, you can do it. There it is. There it is. All right. The stream is live. The stream is here. It's Minecraft 1.15, so the uh, the shader pack goes away until it updates. Unfortunately, um, man, it's been a while since we were here. This this feels a bit weird, but I I think I'll. Cause I've been playing a couple other maps. I have I've got like two off cam playthroughs that are going on right now. So I just need to get my bearings. Man, I don't got many diamonds. Man, I don't got many diamonds at all. Wow. Okay. Are any of these gonna help? Efficiency might. Efficiency and unbreaking. Oh, where did all my experience go? How come the second your stream started, my laptop forcefully shut down to update? It knows. Oh, wait. I forgot. I'm just gonna... A little bit of that in the background. Will I even be able to put any of these on this? Yes. I'll just do that. Man, something bad happened, I think. You know what? Okay, no, I remember what happened. We, I, I died like three times in some like distant ravine. And then I had a mental breakdown and then the stream ended. <laughs> that sounds about right. So do I got sticks anywhere? Maybe in here? I got jungle logs that I can turn into sticks. Oh no, there's a whole bunch of sticks right there. Okay. This is going to be like too many torches, so I'll just do this. Build me a stack of torch. Ah, I'm not going to have the, uh... Died in the fortress. I... I thought it was like some other, like, ravine. Because I know I died in the end. Oh, no. It'll be fine. Those are potatoes. Took me a second to figure out what was going on there. Um, oh yeah, there's my bamboo farm. I've got a stack and a half of potatoes. Let's roll. Um, so this is 1.15, which is exciting. You know, it feels like it's been a while since... Uh, we played Minecraft, but it has not been a while since a Minecraft update. 1.14 came out at the beginning of this year, and 1.15 just adds some engine optimizations, some quality of life stuff. Now you can shift click stuff into a crafting table if you're at a workbench. I'm not at a workbench, so we can't do that. And bees. And finding bees is going to be difficult because I've kind of been all over the place. And you've got to go somewhere new to try to find bees. I don't even really need bees. So, you know, that'll be something um, a bit different. Trying to figure out, like, I don't know. I'd, like, I like the bees conceptually. I just, I don't, I think it's a little too complicated of a system for Minecraft. Like, they pollinate your crops. If you break their home, they, um, they swarm after you. They're neutral mobs. But if they attack you, they die. Um, like, they did a really good job, like, programming behaviors for the bees. Um, emphasis on the bee, pun intended. Um, 
But it's just, it's just kind of a system that, I'll take that. It's kind of just a system that doesn't really lend itself to uh, a lot of Minecraft's like fast and loose gameplay. Like the rabbits kind of just roam around, and that's that's their lot. Doesn't need to be, you know, you don't need to have a freaking degree in biology for rabbit programming. But the bees, for whatever reason, are so above and beyond what they should be. Um, again, pun intended. Um, that the end result is just kind of a bit of a mess. Okay, so I've been here. I was I was hoping I wouldn't have been. Was that blown up? Did I, like... No. I was like, did I accidentally, like, screw that up? For that pun, you will perish. Um, I, I need to buy a deck of Uno so I can just show a reverse card on stream. So just just imagine that there is a card in my hand. Thank you. If I ever do like a, a, a stream play edit where I just edit together all the episodes into a cohesive series, I will have to remember to add that joke. Otherwise, this whole video is um, a waste. I can't tell if these are new chunks. or These are not going to be new chunks. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, technically, the actual, like, to my knowledge, the chunk rendering has not changed. And not the chunk rendering, but the, uh... Not the chunk rendering, the, um... The environment design. There haven't been a bunch of, like, really radical changes to how chunks are built. So... New chunks should seamlessly... Can we get out of the... <laughs> um, why can't... I... Why do you have to do that? That's so weird. Um, but new chunks should fit in with the old chunks. Just now there's... Oh, yeah. Um... Yeah, we could do that. I think I've got a decent amount. I just, real fast... That was the one thing I feel... I feel like 115 should have, um, they should have waited until the nether stuff was done. I don't care if it'd be, like, in the spring of, uh, 2020. I don't personally mind. I just personally don't feel like just bees and some, uh, quality of life changes warrant a whole new numbered update. That's, that's my take. I feel like we could have waited a little bit. Didn't need to be right away. I don't think people were really like clamoring to have bees now. It's not like there was a big like coalition of people that were like, we want the bees and we want them right now. Like the people like the bees. Um, for a while, um, saying that the Minecraft bee was a trans icon was a meme. I get it. Honestly, if 1.15 is just engine optimizations, I'm fine because Java runs so horribly that every bit counts. I mean, I'm going to quad core 3.7. This runs 1.8 and earlier effortlessly 1.14 at less than 70 on average. Um, from what I've played of it so far, it um, I've actually turned down my render distance. It was at 20. If I try to turn that back up, what frame rate do I get? It's it's a little choppy. It's a little low, too. God, they give you so much information. 40. About 40. So that was what I used to have um, with Optifine. And at 40, or at uh, bleh, 20 chunks, I was getting about 45 frames a second. But running a shader. Here, it's just kind of running, like, whatever. But... Hello? There we go. Um, like, it's running a shader here. But, a, or it's not running a shader. I'm getting the same frame rate here, but without a shader. It just, it feels, um... 
Not quite wasteful. Wasteful isn't really the right word. It feels like a missed opportunity. I personally think they should just, at this point, make Optifine part of the Java version. Um, not even necessarily, like, it doesn't need, like, the shader integration. It'd be very nice. I would love official shader integration. But if they just added, like, all of the engine optimizations Optifine offers to Minecraft Java... I feel like that would get us much more in line with how um, Bedrock runs. It's not exact, but Bedrock, you can you can turn up your render distance to like 70 chunks, and it does not care. The thing with the Minecraft is it uses no GPU power without shader, so if your GPU wasn't maxed out, there's no reason why you shouldn't you would get lower or better frames. I guess, I, okay. I mean, I haven't played around with, like, the technical aspects of Minecraft all that much. So, I don't know, like, how possible it would be to, like, offload um, stuff to the GPU for performance or what have you. I feel like the Java version... Like, optimizations are definitely, like, important. For sure. It's only going to take a minute. Um, that gives me time to stick everything else away. Eggs go in here. No, I'm not... Oh, I need, I need to fill my bucket. I'll stay use the bucket somewhere. Hmm. Yeah, like... I not like I, I wish I knew more about mine, like how Minecraft performs. Yeah. All right, now I need. Where is my flint and steel? There it is. Okay. This might be a mistake, but I guess we'll figure it out. You cannot really off offload to GPU in these scenarios, cause what kind of cop ca calculations would you offload, and does Java even support that? <laughs> and does Java even support that? <laughs> um, no, that's I guess that's fair. Again, like I'm not I'm not a programmer. I don't like dig around with this sort of you know information. This isn't really my area of expertise. I'm not going to sit here and say, you know, I know how game development, especially with Java like this works. Because I don't. Like, I I'm already commending them to hell and back for trying to do a 3D game in Java. Java was never meant to do any of this. Uh, let's go east. Mmm, never mind. <laughs> let's, let's go a slightly different direction. There we go. There we go, there's a torch down there. I've already been... In this area before. Nice. Okay. That works out well. Although I want to go east. So at this branch point, I'm just going to make something like this and then some obvious landmarks to help me find my way. Uh, mm, no, I can't really do that. But I, I mean, okay. So now I, I get to be this guy. I've done a tiny amount of programming in Java. So, like, I I kind of get it. And I kind of get, like, why people use it. Because... Uh, not to be, like, I guess, rude. But it, it's the same reason, like, 
people still use just C or uh, basic or whatever. It's like it's what they know. You spend your time programming in Java, you want to use Java. You spend your time programming in C Sharp, you want to use C Sharp. And when someone's like, hey, you sh hey, check out Java, it's like, no. Oh, snap, an iron bar. Oh, snap, another thing. Some gold. Some nether wart. Oh, snap, another thing. A whole bunch of gold armor. All right, that's it. <laughs> I'm done here. Imagine if that just kept going. <laughs> So, like, I get how, you know, some people, like, I, I, I guess, in theory, I understand how Java became the, the programming, um, like, the underlying, like, code of choice to make Minecraft happen in, like, 2009, and I get you know, wanting to continue to support the Java version because it is the most open version of Minecraft. You know, if people are willing to play it and willing to put up with its, um, you know, its quirks, I guess, there's no reason to um, shut it down, especially try to move people to bedrock. Because that's not really going to solve a, any problems. You're just going to create a whole new, um, a whole new group of players who are bitter about the fact that how they wanted to play Minecraft and how they used to play. Jesus, can you not? You know, you're just going to create a whole bunch of people who are like bitter about the fact that how they want to play Minecraft isn't the way Minecraft is supported anymore. Ooh, I've made a mistake. I really don't... Well, I've got this. Here we go. Okay. Um. I once went through a fortress and I had like seven chests around corners all in a row and all of them had horse armor and saddles. I took all of them. The last one had a golden apple. Uh, the thing that would cause rise with moving away from Java is probably... Is, it, 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 it'd no doubt be mod support. Um. And then also, um, you just have a whole bunch of people that are like, well, this one's got microtransactions, and I don't like that. Because there are. Both, there, there are people who would be upset about that, but also they're like a valid complaint. There are microtransactions in Minecraft Bedrock. And it's the same sort of stuff you would get for free on a mod site for Minecraft in the Java version. You know, it's things like, oh, now you can have a backpack, or here's an adventure map. And it, it supports those people directly. Like, it, it supports the people who create those things. And I'm still of the camp that I supported, uh, god, the music is loud. Didn't expect the music to be that loud. Um, I supported, um, the, the Bethesda, like, paid mods Skyrim scene. Like, I thought that was a neat idea. Um, it didn't go anywhere, and then Bethesda ruined it when they made the Creation Club just all of their own... It's just... For lack of a better term, like, Creation Club is just Bethesda official Fallout 4 mods, which sucks. Um, I, I think that completely defeats the purpose of trying to make it, you know, about the community. It's not about the community, it's about you're like you guys it's about Bethesda just getting to show people hey look we can get you to buy more Skyrim uh, DLC we can get you to buy more Fallout 4 DLC and it, it, it just it felt like a low blow um, I like the system in um, Minecraft because it's all community content there isn't really like developer content I'm playing a dangerous game. I'm well aware. So, I mean, of course, like, Java players are going to be upset. You know, mod support's gone. 
Bedrock version has a lot of weird uh, quirks in terms of like gameplay and like muscle memory. Um, if you want to use a shield in Java, it's uh, you hold right click when it's in that offhand slot. To use a shield in Bedrock, it's uh, you you hold the sneak key. Which is like it's it's definitely strange. By the way, make sure you know how to get back. The thing with extra content is that it's simply better for people to make mods for it. It makes the community keep growing by letting them create stuff on their own. Because if you spent money in a game and you got the game. There's everything you've got. Not having to shell it for extra content feels outrageous because why would you use a worse, more money-hungry system? Um, and I think that, that is absolutely, like, my complaint with Beth how Bethesda's handling Creation Club. But if it was, like, you know, you can... Because there's free... There's a couple of free mods for Bedrock on the Minecraft Marketplace. Not many. Um, it's definitely nowhere near as robust of a system as, like, what Java has. But for what it's worth, this isn't gonna end well. Um, but for like for what it's worth, it works, and you get to support the people making that community content. So I get it, and as long as it doesn't like completely get rid of the free the free alternative. Um, for what it's worth for create, like, in defense, not even really in defense of Creation Club, but in defense of Bethesda, there's still free mods. And with, uh, the Steam Workshop paid stuff, there would have still been free Skyrim mods. It's not like you were forced to pay for a Skyrim mod. If, if Mod Arthur wanted to release it for free, they can release it for free. If they wanted to release it for a dollar, they can release it for a dollar. So in that regard, like, I'm fine with that type of a system. There we go. I am stuck in some sort of cave. Excuse me, gentlemen. Excuse me, sir. Pig. Critter. Okay. Pig. If I can get over there, and I, yeah, I've got plenty of resources. So time to build a bridge. All right, here we go. Bridge time. Bridge time is welcome for bridge. Bit of a precarious bridge, but it'll be fine. Okay. I'm trying not to use up all of my torches. Although if push co push come to shove, I can just always make more. Okay, this is going to be this is going to be rough. So I'm just going to Did I seal that off right? I did. I think I'm coming up to a point where I can call it quits. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to be able to really get through that. Well, no, I got it. Okay. Yeah, now, now this is getting a little ridiculous. Um, 
torch right there. This looks like a dead end. Oh, it kind of loops back. This looks like a freaking <laughs> a set piece on a doom map right here. Okay. This okay. This is th this looks kind of cool. I like I like this. Uh, your hard drive is making angry noises at you. Uh, sounds like I might be hungry. <laughs> Uh, oh boy. Alright. Three, three, one, two. Okay. Okay. No, I, I'll just like, I don't know. Okay. Where's this gonna put me? This is gonna put me on like a mountain or something. Okay, I was about to say, that looks a little, uh, I've got, they've updated the creator dashboard, so now it's, Well, there's something over there. Not really what I expected. Huh. Okay. That's fine. I've got this. As long as I can make it to shore. Oh, we have three viewers. Elsa, what you doing? You wanna go out? You wanna go out in the hall? Okay, see ya. Alright. Is there like a given explanation as to why Minecraft's soundtrack is sad piano? I feel like there's gotta be like an explanation somewhere. so close. This looks insane. Well, 
hopefully we'll, we'll see some bees. Okay, there we go. Alright, so at this point, I'm just thinking... What a game. I think I'm far out enough. Alright. I'm going to run a quick ad break, and by the time it's done, this should be complete. So, yeah, because what are we at? Yeah, we're at 35 minutes or so. So, see you in 60. And if you're still here because the ad break didn't work or whatever, uh, I am almost out of... Oh my god, that worked. Oh god. Okay, so... Cool. Uh, hmm. That, that, that'll light that up. Uh, throw a torch on this, like, macaroni joint. This is now officially an island survival series. It sure is. Okay. It looks horrible. <laughs> In the name of Jesus, safe coordinates. It's fine. This looks like a tiny island. This looks incredibly small. Okay, there is something further up. That is a sea fortress. So that's neat. No bees, though. You were looking for copper and you found sponge. I mean, more exact, I was looking for a place to start mining diamonds again. And instead I found, uh, and also bees. But instead I came across uh, a whole lot of nothing. So I'm just going to go over here and swim to, like, this island. Because this one looks like a flower field. Um, a deep ocean. Biome change already, please. Beach. Flower forest, yep. So bees can spawn here. So can skeletons, uh, as it turns out. A lot of them. Okay. As long as they keep fighting each other, this should go well.
Nice. Alright. I'm just gonna build that real fast to let me know. I gotta head back that way. Um, make a boat. Don't get close to the monument if you if you want to live. I'm well aware. I I know what happens. It, it's a it play it makes like a, a jump scare thing happen. Oh, mine cre uh, creepers flash now, or they used to. Now they and then they didn't. Now they do. So that's nice. Jesus Christ! More. Christ. Yeah, okay. This is, uh, not going good. Alright. Put up my shield! Oh, dude! Yeah, fight! 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 I'm gonna help- I'm gonna help give you the upper hand, dude. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. Up and over. Through. What the heck is that? What was that? I've never seen something that looked like that before in Minecraft. Was that just like a weird portion of a, uh... Uh, a mine shaft? Dude, thank you. Link's awakening, but Link ends up on this island instead. I've never actually played uh, Link's Awakening because I don't like Zelda all that much. I played Breath of the Wild. It was okay. Um, I'm fine with the second one as long as it like they don't add some of the features they added in the DLC. I did not like Breath of the Wild's DLC at all. I th I think it just straight up made the game worse. It was like, Beth it's like how Bethesda makes DLC. They kind of just waste everyone's time. Um. Do I have scientific proof of that? Of the fact that I don't like... That, like, Zelda's DLC made the game worse? Uh, I do. It's called Play Master Mode for 33 minutes. And then you'll be like, no, I understand. It's it's got to be thirty three. <laughs> Jesus, ah, mate. Well, on the plus side, I'm gonna I'm gonna build up my experience bar again. So that's nice. I'm beginning to think Ether K is a robot more and more. He only reads one line and disregards everything else. Okay, so I I had to read the full conversation. I really didn't have time to read the full conversation. Um, I didn't see the neither. So you know you got me there. Christ. Okay, so, but okay, I have a I have a way to go. Can you not? Can Oh my gosh. Y'all. Blow him out of here. Oh, 
Oh, it's a boat! It's a boat! Interesting. Y'all, you better not. Hey, man! Is this gameplay riveting enough for you? This was this is neat though to see a boat just stuck down here. There's a drowned in there just trying to get out. Am I playing on hard? No, I'm playing on normal. Um I don't, I don't know why the, the spawns are this high. I just always, I just assume that this is just how Minecraft can be sometimes. Uh, okay, well, I was about to say I need some wood, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm on a boat, so I can just, you know, rip up some planks and just be like, boom. Uh-oh, soggy man. Get out of here. No, no sogginess allowed. Soggy people have no rights. Is there not a single treasure chest anywhere in this overturned pirate ship? So it's got to be, like, down here, then. I think I'm right. There it is. Okay. Nice. Please don't. 
I'll get away. There we go. Whoa! Right then. Okay. Sure. A lot of people really want me to eat some potatoes, I get it. And this is where they, all, where they would all go. If you, if you really got it, then you would have done it. Earlier. Which I'd say, I guess that's fair, yeah. built these ships, like, canonically. That's my big question. Hello, yes, I am here for a short moment before work to say sub. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for the sub. That's been four months. The the Every time the pizza happens, it, it, it freaks me out a little bit. It's my own freaking, like, notification. And it, it, it gets me every time. Oh, it keeps going. A buried treasure map. Some books. There are two chests. I, I know there can be a total of up to three. But I think, I think this one only has two. And I've got them both. Which frickin' whose emote is this? I have a Okay. 
I have somebody else's uh, Twitch emote now. So thank you, uh, Drago. Very cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna be afraid to check this, aren't I? All right. So how do I get back? How did I first find this thing? This way. Okay. So we go up. It's now daytime, which is nice. Okay. So I have to head northeast. All right. I could have built a boat. But according to this, I'm almost there, so. Um. Oh, you know what? It is. It's northwest. Good catch. Um. Ribs or wings? Um, I would rather have a chicken wing than, a, like, a rack of ribs. Although it's been a while since I've had ribs. Portello has always used to have the best, and then I don't know what happened. I don't know, I don't even know if they still, ser like, sell ribs. My dad always liked them. The sentimental music suddenly just, like, disappears. Um, but I'd rather have buffalo wings or chicken ribs. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, I hate buffalo chicken, so... I, I would- I would rather take- and I, Like, I'm not even, like, kidding. I would rather just straight up take, like, a hard-boiled egg over a plate of buffalo wings. So, like, there's your answer. <laughs> um, burger or Borgar? Um, I think either would do, really. Alright, this is gonna be a little, a little rough. This is too far in it. Um, not necessarily. It's like right through here. Um, so I kind of vaguely understand what's going on with the, uh, what do I get rid of? Uh, the gunpowder, I don't use it. Um, with lining up the, uh, the marker. You kind of got to like stand underneath it and then it's like right in that like general area. See, I, I, I'm digging too deep, aren't I? It's not in this area.
real fast. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna bullyproof this. Okay. So... Let me get away. Face north. Okay, so it's like in this wall. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna use my ample amounts of sand to just Want those diamonds so I'm just gonna yoink cooked oh, that's all cooked hmm see a diorite and a tight okay wonderful Oh, check the, the map. Uh, well, I'm already heading back, so, you know, I, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. And you got a, we got a heart of the, heart of the sea hype. I did not pick it up. Mostly because I don't, I don't have any Nautilus shells, so it's not of any, like, use. Hello, please stop that. Bees. Bees. What is it? You can use shears. Oh no. No, 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 no. You don't use shears. Okay, well, I didn't know. I thought maybe you used the shears on the, the beehive. It made sense in the moment. So I'm like, how do you get the, the 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 honey or the beehive or the bee like the honeycomb out of the the beehive? And in my head, the answer is like, well, you shear it. So you know, it, to me, it made sense. So, you know, 
We met some bees. It didn't go well. Like, uh, and besides, like, what am I gonna do? You can't bring the bees back with you. Especially because I'm gonna have to travel through, like, like a kilometer's worth of nether. So it's not gonna happen. We'll just ignore that. That's a baby zombie. Three sixty. Why am I holding a buried treasure map I already explored so I can put it on the wall? I mean, okay, you have your sound off though, so you won't you won't be here to hear that. So. Mm. It's it's a it's a memento. Oh, I got a dolphin boost. Heck yeah. No. No, no, no. Get me out. Get me out. No, 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 not you. Jesus. No. Stop it. Stop it. No! What are you doing? Okay. I think I'm safe. Of course not. Alright. Okay. Okay. I mean, it had to be this way, right? Yep. Excuse me. It shows I'm very far away from that location on the on the Ocean Explorer map, or the 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 sunken treasure map. Okay. All right, that was um uh, interesting. Interesting's a word for it. Huh. Okay, now this is no, it's fine. Uh, it's fine. I was about to say I think it's just it looks bad on my TV. Um the do we noted? Okay. Um the stream preview in the, the Twitch viewer or whatever looks nuclear on um on my TV. But it really isn't. <laughs> That's a noise I like to hear. Um so the blessed by RNG message is um a uh, um I th so um you can make variations of your Streamlabs messages um I have a variation of when somebody follows that very rarely it's a very rare I don't exactly know the number because I don't think you get a number when you create it um, but you have the option to make a rare alternative message. So I made a very rare alternative message that says that they've been blessed by the RNG. So that's a... Um, 
and it's it's only on like so many uh, follows. Or it's only it's it's like I don't I I don't know how to exactly word it. Um, when somebody follows, there's a rare chance that they'll get that message instead of the normal one. Uh, this is not... Oh, wait. Yeah, it is. Knock that off the wall. Stick that right there. Okay. Well, Jason, you can just explain it's a, it's a rare um, alternative follow message. Ooh, there's a wither skeleton up there. Not a fan of that. That's a little worrying. Must have took a wrong turn. Oh, you know what? No, I know, I know how I got up here. There we go. This is not fine though. Okay, never mind. It took care of itself. Neat. Nice. So I made it I made it back. Not sure how I feel about that one. Alright, well... Didn't go as planned, but no adventure ever does, so...
we go. Actually, I probably want the uh, the full amount of experience from this, so we're gonna stick this there. Chests. Got a place for them. I will say though, the music fits um, thunderstorms. I'll give it that. Was it nighttime? Actually, no. It's midday. Huh. I'm just gonna leave these out here, honestly. Cause you know. Oh god, I've got a ton of stone bricks. I could I could keep building the Tower of Babel, can I? I'm gonna need more torches, but Yeah, we could we could keep expanding this. Uh, I need more normal logs. Okay. Alright. Uh, let's get in the door. Let's try that one. Alright. Perfect. Although I do want potatoes. So I'm gonna get them put the shears away. Okay, this is important to know. Three bull. Okay, so four. So if I build three and step off the last second, there we go. Crazy. I'm building this tower like it's Terraria. Because I have a whole bunch of extra stone that I don't know what to do with. So I was just like, we're just going to build a tower to the flipping map limit. So that's, you know, what we've done. Although it's nowhere near the map limit. I mean, we're like halfway up this thing. There is... That's not even the map limit there. Um, like, I, I can't stress that one enough. Okay, so it's... One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. Four, and then one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four. Nice. Oops.
that helped. Okay. Nice. And then now I can... Oh, I need stairs. It'll be fine. Let's just put a, um, a roof on this. I had a dream a few nights ago that led to an ethical and moral uh, quandary. I don't know if anyone wants to hear that or not. Because I'm still trying to process it. Ooh. Hold on. Let me, let me see something. Oh, okay. Let's see if Dan would want to drop in. Because if he would, then I'm going to wait until Dan can drop in. Before I tell my tales of ethics. I'm not building like this this like it's terraria because there is no table and there is no chair. Ooh. Slammed. I'm just gonna scoop these up off the uh I don't have enough I am gonna have to it just looks like I'm in space I made it to space the the final frontier Okay. Bed time, it's bed time. Jump in the bed and it's time to for bed. Hey. Beds. <sighs> okay. Um So I can run eight more. Sh sure. space for no I don't um well now I do I've already got plenty of hearts of the sea and I just don't have anything to use them with so you know oh well no I do I got stairs okay torches that's what I'm missing
Okay, well... So, this, and then... Okay, I see. That's, that's pretty decent. And now I just need to cut this shape out. Okay. Nice. So boop, and then just boop, boop, and then boop, 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 boop. There we go. Nice. So I'm almost done here then. Yeah, this floor is pretty much finished. Takes a lot of resources to build a floor of this thing. Is that... It's noticeably taller, just not, you know egregiously taller uh oh, i don't got much glass left so maybe i should turn some of this glass into all right nice just that much i think will be enough okay so I teased ethical quandaries like five minutes ago. I'm just going to get going with this because, um, you know. So, for context, I think we should start with some context. Um, there we go. Um, back in October, my father passed away. It was unfortunate. But there wasn't much we could do about that. Um, we've got most of our stuff kind of figured out now. We kind of we're we're, we're plotting course to, towards the future. Um, in the in the dream, you know, it's a week to Christmas, so it's like you just barely in the future, and we're all getting ready for Christmas. And there's a knock at the door, and my phone rings, and there's a guy um, on the phone. It's the voice of my dad, and he's like, "Hey." Um, you know, I'm outside. Can you help me, you know, get the door open? I don't have, you know, the password or any keys or anything. And I'm a little free. I'm, I'm freaking out a little bit. I'm like, um, okay. And I look and sure enough, it's him just standing there. Fine. We let him in. And the first thing he says is, I know what this looks like. So let me explain. I'm not him i'm sorry i'm a clone and it turns out um about eight months ago in the dream my father had signed up for this experimental um medical thing where they would produce a clone of him aged up to about you know his proper age but the clone is a clean bill of health so you know they can go home and continue to be a father and continue to be you know this and that and it'd be fine. And, you know, we're all a little... I guess worried is kind of, sort of, the right word. Um, you know, at a loss for words about the situation. Um, especially because we were going over to one aunt's house later that day, still in the dream... And we get there, and he he comes along with us. He's like, hey, how you doing? How's it been, Katie? Everything going well? Um, what you guys been up to? Like, the clone has all of, like, his thoughts and ideas and memories and skills, but with a clean bill of health. But, like, the ethical quandary comes in where it's just like, you know, can you substitute a loved one who passes away? And, you know... What does it mean if that's what you're going to, like do like 
is this, you know, like, do you accept a clone of... Do you accept a clone of a loved one? Um, mm, I didn't do this right. You know, do you accept the, a clone of a loved one with a clean bill of health that's otherwise the exact person you lost? Or, do you know, do you tell them, like, you know, I appreciate the concern, I understand where you're coming from and all, but... I think we've got everything figured out. It's just spending time with you just feels a little too painful. Especially like during the holidays. Part of me I don't I don't know if I have an answer. I feel like it's something I would have to like work through on my own in writing. Like I would need to like write almost pretty much a novel of this situation to kind of work through how I feel about it. Cuz I'm not sure how I feel about just being like, yeah, come on in, Dad. But at the same time, I don't feel like I don't know how I feel about just telling him like, no, we don't need you. Like, like it 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 sucks to have to like tell someone that, you know. So you know, okay, everybody left. <laughs> Well, I tried. Moral quandaries aren't for everyone. Okay, we're looking pretty good. And I'm going to run a 90 second ad break real fast, even though nobody's really watching. Alright. So if you're still here, um, I should mention real fast, um, just throwing it out there. Um, for people who are still here at the live stream, I'm not sure exactly how many people that would work out to be. But um, there is going to be an update video probably coming out. Um, I want to say this weekend, maybe early next week, about um, ambition, and ambition getting the better of me. Um, nice. Actually, I'm going to do this real fast. There we go. Um, and I'll explain more about what I'm kind of talking about in the actual, like, video. Um, I guess the big thing just to keep in mind is, um, I was hoping to do something bigger for, um, Christmas. Like, a bigger production. I bit off way more than I could chew. So, I'm going... I, I, I don't want to say I'm backpedaling, but I, I kind of am backpedaling. Um... I'm going to try to release an animatic of that for patrons in the 
in 2020 to kind of show what I was hoping to make. And I hope that suffices. And then we'll work from there. Welcome back from the ad break. And now 30 minutes without an ad roll. So that's nice. I'ma need more sand. <laughs> I can do four windows. Nice. I can do half of a, uh, a ceiling. Actually, I can do a little more than half of a ceiling. Not a whole ceiling. Yep. Okay. There we go. That's about as much ceiling as I can make. I'm not going to be able to hit that the scaffold from here, so I'm just going to walk down the stairs like a normal human being. That's almost done. Cool. Nope. I will say though, if you're still like here, it shows that there's somebody. Um, what do my drop frames look like? Only a second's worth of drop frames. Nice. Um, for folks who are still here, thank you sincerely. Um, it, it does truly mean an awful lot to me. Let's see if Elsa's ready to come back in. Elsa's asleep somewhere. That looked horrible on the camera. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. Uh, I thought I had cooked foods in here. I'll just stick these there. It's fine. I have a whole bunch of water breathing potion. I don't remember why I've got all that. Oh well. All right, sand. Uh, 18 sand, that's not a lot of sand. I mean, I didn't really watch the Game Awards last night. I watched a, a little bit of it, but I wasn't, like, paying, like, full attention. Um, it wasn't good. It was, it was quite frankly, uh, bad. Like, I, I don't... Uh, like, frustratingly bad. And I can't really explain, like, 
how? It was just like really lame. There was a bit, um, the one bit I enjoyed. Um, they put one of the Muppets, or a couple of the Muppets, maybe. I don't remember. I wasn't, again, like, my younger brother was, was playing it on his, like, laptop and, and like, a little screen, and I was kind of looking over every now and again. Um, but there was, um, some Goose Game, and they made a Muppet of, uh, the Goose from the Goose Game. Welcome, welcome in. There you are. Nice. Elsa's right here. She, I really can't get her up into the camera because she's big. But not that big. Hi. Hello. Look at you. You want a bunch of attention? You want to be on, on TV? No. Well, I offered. No, oh, but, like, that was it. There were, like, zero noteworthy announcements. There was... I guess there was Surgeon Simulator 2. I don't really know how you do a sequel to Surgeon Simulator. I mean, that game kind of had everything. So, I don't know. I guess some room for surprises there. And a bunch of people were, were like, upset that it's an Epic Store exclusive, but, like, it's gonna be, el it's gonna be elsewhere. So, get it on console. If, if that does truly bother you, because it's probably going to be the same on console or PC, so it's fine. Alright, so that's pretty much done. Let's, uh, let's build the stairs now. So I got a... here... And then two and a step, and then three and a step. So, boop, 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 boop. There we go. Nice. You know, part of me, as much as I want to, like, make, like, a finale for the Minecraft series, where I, like, jump off the top of the Tower of Babel here and just go flying away with the Elytra, kind of like the ending of, uh, Minecraft. Like, that, that's not really gonna happen, I don't think. Like, I, I don't see myself defeating the Ender Dragon, or even going back to the end. Um, it's just not really worth the headache and the hassle. You ready to go out? You ready to go out in the hallway? Hey, Elsa. Yeah, lick my fingers. That's, that's helping.
Um, all right, let's see if the windows are done. Yeah, the windows are done. All right, so this should produce a pretty healthy amount of glass. Wow. Cool. All right, I'm probably only going to stream this for like 15 more minutes, and then... That'll be that, because it feels like, I don't I don't know, I don't know if anybody's just going to show up to the stream again. Everybody who was here kind of showed up, and that's, that's really that. That's just, you know, that's how things go. Nothing is perfect. We got what? Two floors of this thing done? How high am I? I'm at 103. I've still got room for another 150 blocks of height. Jesus. I thought I had more windows to do, but I guess I don't. I do want to know, though, how many floors do we got? I can actually go down the scaffold this time. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine floors. Almost ten. That is nuts. And, you know what, I guess it sounds like more than it really is. But that's still just, like, cool to me. Let's go back inside. Oh, should be burning down. Get out of my house. Where this goes is like pretty much to diamond level somewhere. Didn't want to. We'll say that this is new. So, you know, this will be interesting. Or not. <laughs> cool. Maybe, the, maybe I've been back here before because... 
That might have been the case if I had Optifine Dynamic Torches. Actually, I want pork chops. No, uh, I've got all these lovely pork chops. I'm not using them for anything. I've got to say, I want a slightly more dynamic food system for Minecraft. Like, being able to, like, use ingredients to, like, like prepare things and get better, like, f like, rated foods that heal more. So, you know, if you just, like, s like just stick a, uh, a pork chop in your furnace, you get a cooked pork chop. But it's only going to have one star. What the? Okay. Um. Now, I've definitely been through this thing. Um. But you'd only end up with like a one star cooked pork chop. It heals some hunger points. Relatively low saturation. No other bonuses. Now, it, you could build like... Um, like if you put it in the smoker, you would get a smoked pork chop. Which would be, you know, a two star food that heals a little bit more. Has a little more saturation. Maybe like a temporary like mining speed boost. Like, a very slight, like, 5% increase to your mining speed for 10 minutes. And then, like, say, now, um, if we update... This would probably involve having to update the, uh... How smokers and other cookeries work. But if you took and you put in your smoker... Not just, um, a, a raw pork chop... But, uh, some oak... You would get... An applewood smoked pork chop. And that could heal, you know, a little bit more and offer a slightly better mining boost. Or if you took, like, a pork chop and a carrot and, you know, a, and some mushrooms, you could make a pork stew. I think a slightly more robust cooking system would be really cool to have in Minecraft. Also, like, let me just make, like, an apple pie already, or a sandwich. Let's be real, everybody. Like, th those have been missing from Terraria for so long. Or Minecraft. Why'd I say Terraria? Wrong game. Um, I've expected one of those to be in this game for quite a while. And, um, in Minecraft, at the very least... There's no sandwiches. Um, there's no... There's no apple pie. Things like, you know, hamburgers and ice cream I get not having. You know, I'm all for, you know... Minecraft's got, like, a, a particular... It's not really a gist all, but it's kind of got... Like a certain like chutzpah to it. There's some things where if that made it into Minecraft, be like, yeah, I don't know if that fits Minecraft. Um, I think the number one thing everybody would point to: guns, uh, blood, ragdoll physics. You know, Minecraft doesn't need these things to be Minecraft. You know, they're kind of against the whole point of Minecraft. Like, Minecraft's a very simple game that looks great through its environment. Through its environments. I started saying environmental design, and I'm like, there is no environmental design. It's all algorithms. Um, but it's a very particular thing, Minecraft. And, you know, I'm not, like, dissing people who use mods like Technic or Computer Craft. Like, you can use those. I personally don't really think they fit... Like, I mean, of course they don't fit Minecraft, but, like... 
like when I'm playing Minecraft, it's very kind of like you've got to do it yourself sort of game. You want to build that giant structure, you've got to put the materials together. And you can do a little bit of automation with redstone, but if you watch the, the videos that go up on the channel, I'm not good with redstone. Um, my exposure with it, I keep to a minimum because it just confuses and infuriates me. You know, if I wanted to be upset playing Minecraft, there's so many easier ways to do it than by trying to figure out what the heck is going on with redstone. Like, in theory, I understand redstone. But it's just something I've never played with in Minecraft, because... Again, like, I've... You know, like, I've got, you know, X amount of space. I've got to make the most of it. You know, I can't just... just take up all my space to build a really complex doorbell when no one's going to be knocking. Um, I don't need to build like a big automated like stone factory because I've got other things I can do while waiting for stone to smelt. I'm very much, very, I guess, old-fashioned might be a good enough word for it when it comes to Minecraft. Again, like, it's, to me, a very, like, DIY sort of game. Like, Terraria, you rely way more on, like, found objects and improvements. In Minecraft, it's kind of just you. And you, like, like I, I get the case for, like, automating it. I'm not... I'm, uh, like, I'm not anti-Minecraft automation. It's just not for me. You know, you, you spend all this time building this big contraption. It's like, oh, what does this do? Oh, well, it, um, it automatically turns... Um, you know, cut cobblestone into, into stone bricks and then sticks them in the chest. It's like, oh, okay. But now you just have all that space taken up for a device that does exactly that. I would rather smelt the stone myself and then use the space for something different. And sure, you know, you could argue, well, you're just making a big useless tower for nothing. You're not going to put anything in it. You're straight up admitting, like, the tower exists just to see if you can build to the flippin' map height limit. And, you know, that's fair. And But at the same time, like, it, 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 it's, at the end of the day, it still feels like I'm, I'm accomplishing something that's gonna be, like, lasting. That I'll use for something. If I build a machine that all it does is turn my raw pork chops into cooked... What happens when, you know, there's not any more pigs around? What am, what, what am I to do then? Now I've got this machine that just does, like, nothing. I guess I could put fish through it, but collecting fish takes a long time. I could put potatoes through it, but now I've just got an excessive potato cooker. You know, I don't need to take up all this space in my house with a machine to cook or smelt 
or anything like that. You know, I can do that on my own. And that's kind of the big the big point. Like play Minecraft how you want to play it. If if you want to build ridiculous contraptions for the sake of ridiculous contraptions, I'm not going to stop you. I don't think anybody's going to stop you. Um but I think there's just as much credit to give to somebody who plays Minecraft for kind of that like that like relaxed sort of oh, you know, I'm going to build a thing. I've got to collect all these materials to build the thing. Oh, what's over here? And, you know, by the end of, like, a three- or four-hour play session, you've, you know, started building that thing. It's not, you know, complete. It's not an awe-inspiring creation that'll be looked upon for, you know, years. It might just be, you know, a minecart rail to take you to the nearest village. It might just be, you know, a big stone path that heads north. It might just be, you know, you've built yourself a small network of nether portals to get you to different biomes so you can collect their resources in case you ever need, like, snow for something or you need cocoa for something. And the stuff you can bring back and farm, you farm. It might just be a big stack of scaffolds so you know where you're at. You can get back home easier. Like, that's valid, too. the one thing that does it for me is just like this I always know where I've like I always know how to get back home because I can see the Tower of Babel I can see the bamboo farm I can see you know all the things I've done to my little spot of land and I know how they all work and they're all relatively simple but at the same time like it's like, the simplicity is one thing, but there's also, like, a beauty in its simplicity. You know, this is a space that was hand-built by me for me. But it, it wouldn't, like, shock or upset greener players if they were suddenly dropped into this world. They're not going to be like, how do these things work? Because it's, it's all very, very simple, I think. Nice. Okay, that actually worked out phenomenally. I was I was hoping to get a whole bunch of a whole bunch more coal out of that, and I did. Got a decent amount of lapis too. Some diorite. Where am I keeping arrows? They're in here. Some bones. Some gunpowder. Some zombie meat. That spider is... Yeah, there you go. It's good to be back. It is really the big thing, like... It feels really good to just be back to play in Minecraft for the stream. I really like the Minecraft stream play a ton. All right, this is going to just produce 56. Perfect. That's what I was hoping for cuz I'm just going to I'm just going to move this to this. The experience isn't really a concern anymore. I'm going to real quick just turn these into uh Fourteen more blocks of coal. The 
Okay, that's good to know that that's four stacks right there. Okay. I got so much string. That doesn't make blocks of wool anymore? Oh no. Oh, if only Drago was here, but he had to work, so. Oh, wow, that is actually, that's way more forgiving than I thought. Crazy. In my head, I thought that'd be, like, way more expensive than it really was. Cool. more of that. Cool. And what the hey, I'll make I'll make some of this too. Oh, that's a super nice, rich blue. Nice. Heck yeah. Now, how many Minecraft VODs are we up to? Um, however many there are. I'm pretty proud of the amount of progress that's been made in them. Um... I don't want to wind them down just because um, I feel like that's, I feel like that's, I don't want to say rude, but I feel like interest is waning, I think is the big thing. Um, like as much as people liked the Minecraft streams, I totally understand that they're a very much, you know, zero sum progress sort of stream you know if we did a black mesa stream play it wouldn't go on for 15 20 episodes it'd be over in like five minecraft is very much a long runner and i think to a degree that is tiring for some people I'm totally sympathetic. So I think... I think this is a talk that we'll end up having... Um, soon. Um, probably with... Um, where are my flowers? Down the line. Um, probably a talk that we'll end up having with... Um, everybody in the discord about you know has the minecraft series you know run its course um do we want to make the minecraft series something a little more special because there's so much of it um who's still interested in the minecraft series because i have reason to believe that that number's probably dwindled um recently and that is totally fine. Um, again, again, we'll 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 have this talk um, in a bit too. Uh, twenty twenty is going to be a big year of change for the channel. I just want to make sure. Um, you know, we're all you know still enjoying the content that's being made, and if we're not, what can we do? 
But with all that said, I think we made a decent amount of progress. We got a decent amount of uh, new materials. We're loaded back up on coal. Two more floors in the Tower of Babel. My plan for next Minecraft stream, and I'm going to say this nice and loud so I can remember it myself. I want to build maybe two more floors of this. That'll be pretty easy, and that'll be pretty early on. Um, and then I want to find a new place to get diamond, because we're, again, ru we're still running low on diamond. We're always running low on diamond. Um, I want to get my diamond armor back. And get that going again, because I feel like it's been a decent while. So, I think all that said, though, that'll be it. Thank you to everybody who shows up for these streams. It does mean a lot to me. I have three notifications that I will take care of soon. Minecraft music was still going that whole time. Uh, thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. I love doing these streams. Thank you, thank you, thank you.